What's up everybody? Wow, it's been a... Feels like a long time that it, since the last time I've done a video, but we are back at it again with another modification for my STI. Before we start this whole thing, I want to do another giveaway, another Subaru giveaway. This mainly is for pets, but it's like half for pets and half for you guys. Um, as you can see in the screen, it's, it's all the items that I'm gonna be giving away for you guys. So first things first, you need to be like this video, be a subscriber and leave me a comment below because that's the way we can choose who is the winner for the uh, giveaway. Anyway, so let's get to the video. So as you guys can see probably on the uh, description of this video, you already know what I'm going to be doing with the STI. So that is changing a new big wing. And here it is. It's a carbon fiber wing from Battle Aereo. It is 70 inches long with a 44 inch uh, width with tall stands. So it's gonna be very, very, very long. As you guys can see, it's um, carbon fiber. Let me show you what else came in the box. So you guys can see that is the carbon fiber wing right here. This is the uh, bottom base for the stands came of course with some hardware which we'll probably have to go to the hardware store to make sure that um, to get longer bolts um, I've, I've talked to a couple people who have the same wing and they say um, you need longer bolts this is the end plates that go on the side of the wing right here it is made of like a little some kind of metal pretty nice strong metal and this is the stand right here. <coughs> right there. It's also made of some hard aluminum. On the bottom of the wing, as you guys can see, this is where the stand goes and you see there's holes for some, so you can adjust the wing for however you want it. Also on the base, you have also holes to adjust. I believe this is to move forward or back the um, the stand. So, um, yeah, uh, the biggest problem I'm gonna be running into is taking the STI wing off. I'm gonna have the holes in it. I wanted to do a trunk swap, but um, I feel like maybe one day I'll wanna go back to like the STI wing and then switch back and forth, you know, um, whenever. Uh, so I'll have the holes in it. Um, plan is to maybe get some vinyl, cut like perfect circles and cover the holes, whatever holes are gonna be visible. Uh, one of the reasons why is because um, I just don't wanna deal with the wiring, which is right here, so you guys can see. Wiring, the camera, I got this little carbon fiber thing right here also. And of course my badges. Doing a trunk swap with WRX, I'll have WRX badge, I'll lose all my badges, I'll lose the little carbon fiber thing, and I just don't wanna deal with the wiring stuff. And of course also I might want to, you know, switch it back and forth to the STI wing, to the big, 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 big wing. So um, let's get to uh, taking the wing off. I already took off this little, uh, the cover that was covering here and I believe these are 10 millimeter uh, bolts and as as far as I can see I can only see three of them so hopefully it's only those three and uh, we'll go from there all right so this is the um, trunk without the STI wing I, I really don't I really don't like it at all like those holes are really really ugly and let me see if I can zoom in you can see a little bit of um the paint kind of like uh messed up here and there so i either have i have a couple options i can either uh do a trunk swap but like i said i just don't want to deal with all the wiring camera all my little carbon fiber stuff badges all that stuff second is to take it to a shop after i put my wing take it to a shop and like have them bond it fix it close up the holes or third, or oh, the other one, of course, is like um, covering it with uh, like little vinyl, um, like the same color of the car. 
Well, last option is uh, wrapping the car. I mean, that is a huge option for me is wrapping the whole car and then you won't be able to see this. Um, but I'll still do my little holes and then we'll, we'll go from there, you know, just for now. Um, yeah, right now what I'm gonna do next. Hey dear. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my um, my wing and then so I can put the wing into the trunk and then um, uh, kind of trace the bases and then start drilling the holes. I'm gonna put my tape here, all around here and then see where, set up where I'm gonna put my, tr uh, my wing and, um, and then we'll go from there. All right, if you guys see me with a different shirt, it's because I actually went to the store and there's like a here, here. Hmm. I actually went to, this hair does not want to come off. All right, anyways, I went to the store. I got some, some supplies. Uh, I was going to go with a longer bolt, but I really didn't need it. it Might have, it would have been maybe a little better if I got a bolt, but um, uh, let me show you really quick. I try to find some, uh, some some things to cover these and the things that I bought were a little too small let me show you so I got these little um, little little push thingies um, to kind of be here temporary but as you can see they're a little small they need to be fatter out here but that's how it would look right there um, I know it's not the best thing because there's 12 holes in this in this trunk but it's just for temporary um use but these they don't fit so they're too small so that did not work so i'll have to go back to the store and get some fatter ones if they have any fatter ones also if you notice uh my brackets or my little base are basically installed if you see that little thing i actually bought like a little rubber thing and i had to cut it to size and basically i made like a little rubber little bushing here to uh, protect the um, the hood, the, uh, the trunk. Uh, it's nice and strong. Everything's basically installed there. Let me show you what I got, what I bought. So I went to Lowe's and I got this little rubber thing right here. I think this is the little thing that goes uh, on the bottom of the wall, like the cheap little uh, base thing uh, that goes on the bottom of the wall. This part is kind of like textured, but this part, the other part is uh, nice and black. So what I did is I basically uh, traced it and cut it with a nice little sharp knife. And that is what I what we have. And I think it looks really, really uh, nice. It gives it a little, um, you know, the little space here, a little bit of rubber. It protects the holes from getting a little bit water inside. But of course I got holes everywhere. So we're almost done. Uh, all we gotta do is just basically put the uh, wing on and then we're basically done. Um, wing, little side plates, and that's pretty much it. So the wing is pretty much uh, completed. Uh, I'm going to adjust these and then probably from the bottom over here too to make it look more, uh, I don't know, like diagonal. Um, not diagonal, like more, I don't know. Uh, I'll play around with it as soon as I put it on but uh, let's get this on the core done so what you guys think it is massive huge wing well from here it looks massively big um, it should be basically the height of the 
should be like almost the height of the uh, of the uh, the roof line so you can kind of see it I'm trying to be kind of centered and right on top so it's it's right there I mean if you go up of course it just looks it just looks um, massively tall and of course it's it's really big um, of course with being this tall it does does do a little wobble but it's not as much as I thought it was going to be um, here this little screws I'm going to um, replace them with those JDM ones with the little cool um, colorful washers so that'll be something that I'll replace I don't think I don't need to replace these unless I find them in nice and black or use those same JDM ones same thing with up here I might change the uh, this bolt right here so I can slant the uh, the wing a little bit more but I think it's uh, looks pretty good right there and I'm I'm on a slope so it's it looks really big so I'm a little lower than the car right now but it looks so massive so okay the next thing I'm going to do that I need to do is I still need to go to the um, store and try to f see if I can find those plugs because those holes are ugly as hell and clean the car and then some really really cool shots which are coming next enjoy this whole video uh, just remember if you guys want some of the Subaru gear that I posted in the uh, beginning of this video which is like half for pets and half for you uh, remember to just give me a likes give me remember to be a subscriber and leave your comment below because that's the way that I will choose the winners by uh, one random comment and also the installation is not that bad it's uh, pretty simple it's just kind of like uh, get the fear out of uh, drilling holes into your trunk and all that stuff uh, The STI the stock wing all the holes are the only thing that it's kind of like mm, uh, a little Not that great And let me show you what I did with this little push thing. So those are the little 
postings that I got. Um, it's like five here and then five over there. So you're going to need 10 of them. So this is just temporarily. I think I'm just going to wrap or take it to a shop so they can, you know, fix it. But um, I got two choices. Just leave it like this or wrap it or fix it. And then, you know, whenever put the STI back on. And yeah, there you go. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, anything. And any questions, just leave me a comment below. I'll answer to it the best of my knowledge. And thank you for all the subscribers that have subscribed before. And follow me on my Instagram also. I do post a lot of pictures. I can uh, uh, message, you, message me. I message you back, comment, whatever. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Until the next one.